a very good morning children welcome again after your winter vacation i hope that you all have enjoyed your winter vacations and also studied well children in today's english online session we are going to start with a new topic of grammar before vacation we have done kinds of sentences so today we are going to start with a new topic that is synthesis of sentences so first of all let us discuss what is synthesis of sentences children synthesis of sentences is the opposite of transformation of sentences and means combination of a number of simple sentences into one new sentence i repeat again children synthesis of sentences is the opposite of transformation of sentences and means combination of a number of simple sentences into one new sentence that new sentence might be either simple sentence or a compound sentence or a complex sentence children that new sentence might be either simple sentence or a compound sentence or a complex sentence so this is children the definition of synthesis of sentences children now let us see the chief ways of combining two or more simple sentences into one simple sentence it can be done number 1 by using a participle for example the sentence is here he jumped up he ran away now if we combine this sentence into a simple sentence it will be jumping up he ran away the second example is he was tired of play he sat down to rest the new sentence is tired of play he sat down to rest the third example is he is well versed in english he was appointed as the english teacher in the school now for this for his knowledge of english he was appointed as english teacher in the school so children here you might you may find the synthesis of sentences into a simple sentence second we can combine many simple sentences into one simple sentence also by using a noun or a phrase in apposition for example number 1 this is my friend his name is rama answer for this two simple sentence into one simple sentence is this is my friend rama now the second example is i spent two days in london it is one of the most attractive places in england answer for this is i spent two days in london one of the most attractive place in england the third example is buddhism 
was founded in 25,000 years ago. It is one of the greatest religions. Answer for this sentence is Buddhism, one of the greatest religions, was founded in 2500 years ago. Third, again we can use many simple sentences by combining them we can change into a single simple sentence by using a preposition with noun or gerund for example the moon rose their journey was not ended now by combining these two different sentences into one simple sentence the answer for this to these two simple sentences will be before their journey was ended the moon rose second example is he has failed many times he still hopes to win answer for this sentence is having failed for many times he still hopes to win the third example is her husband died she heard the news she fainted so children now here in this example there are three different simple sentences now we will combine these, uh, these three sentences simple sentences into one simple sentence on hearing the news of the death of her husband she fainted now number 4 is by using nominative absolute construction how we will do this first example is here the soldier arrived the mob dispersed answer for these two simple sentences into one simple sentence is the soldiers having arrived the mob dispersed second example is the town was enclosed by strong wall the enemy was unable to capture it now answer for these two sentences are the town having been enclosed by strong wall the enemy was unable to capture it number 5 by using an infinitive children we can also combine two or more simple sentences by using infinitive for example number 1 i have some duties i must perform them the answer will be I have some duties to perform. Second example is we must finish this exercise. There are still three sentences. The answer is we have still three sentences in this exercise to finish. The third example is he wanted to educate his son he sent him to london answer for the third example is he sent his son to london to educate him number 
is he is very fat he cannot run answer for the fourth example is he is very fat to run so this is how we can combine many simple sentences by combining them or by using an inf infinitive so that we can make them one simple sentence now the sixth one is by using an adverb or an adverbial phrase we can again combine many simple sentences into one simple sentence for example number 1 he deserved to succeed he failed answer for this these two sentences is he failed undeservedly the second example is the sun set the boys had not finished the game answer for this is the boys had not finished the game by sunset so children these were the different ways by which we can change many we can combine many simple sentences into one simple sentence that is by using an adverb or an adverbial phrase by using an infinitive also we can do that by using nominative absolute construction also we can do that by using a preposition with noun or gerund or by using a noun or a phrase in apposition or by using a participle we can change many simple sentences into a simple sentence one simple sentence complex sentence or a compound sentence so children this was the synthesis of sentences that we have learned today i hope that you all have understood it thank you and have a nice day